what Oshobo crowd did to P2B at Freedom Park rally that made Yusuf Dati beg them. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. So, but as of the Labour Party and his presidential candidate, Peter Gregory B, being caught singing and chanting his name while he was about to address them at the rally that went down in Oshobo on Saturday. Obi, his running mate, Yusuf, Obi, running mate, Yusuf Dati Babame, stormed the Shin State in continuation of the presidential rally and a huge success was recorded. The rally was filled with a mammoth crowd as supporters and stakeholders and the party stormed the Freedom Park in Oshobo to render support to the movement. However, a video currently circulating online from the venue has captured the moment the ex-governor of Anambra was about to address the crowd. As soon as he stepped forward on the podium, the crowd began chanting his name. They could be seen singing and also hailing him. When the crowd did not allow Obi to speak, that he stepped in to beg them to stop. Well, um, this is well, very normal now. This happens in uh, rallies a lot where where the supporters, you know, you see this, they chant, even they chant a, a what's it called? Because this is the first time I've been hearing about this particular issue. But the main issue here is, I keep saying, the main issue here, it is wonderful to be at a rally to show your support for your candidate too. Ah, it's a very beautiful thing. In fact, if you're doing it for free, oh my, you did try. You understand where I'm going to? You're doing it organically, as in nobody's using anything to, to nobody's stimulating you any, any, from anywhere with anything. And you come out on your own to support a particular person. You try. Hmm? It is good. If you're coming out to, you know, go campaign, go for campaigns, go for rally, you're trying. But let me tell you something. Hmm? I just want to remind us, it is good to go for rally. It is good to comment, you know, on, on posts, on social media, engage in discussions, you know. But the thing that is going to be the icing on the cake. You know a cake, a cake is not beautiful except it has been, uh, what's it called, decorated now good the thing that will make it so beautiful the thing that will make it look meaningful is when on election day you take your pvc and you go and cast your vote for that person i know will not count chanting and the different campaign rallies they will not count the number of rallies you've attended they will not count your the number of discussion you have started or engaged in they will not count the post you have made concerning your candidates on social media. They're not going to count all those things. They're not going to count the likes, your comments. You understand? Uh -huh. They will not count all those things. I neck will only count your vote. That is why I'm saying after you supporting or even you even canvas canvass uh, for your candidates, are you able to get people to be on your side see it is good i'm not saying it's not good it is good but the most brilliant thing is to make sure that come election day whether governorship presidential um uh, senatorial house of assembly whatever election that you go and cast your vote you go and cast your vote you go and cast your vote that is what is very important it is so important that, you know, it determines a lot of things. It determines if your candidate is going to win. It determines if your candidate, you know, it is it is the action that you, you use to determine if you are really, really wanting this your candidate to win. Okay. The best among the candidates, please, Nigerians be wise. He is a golden treasure. We need him. Okay. Some people will soon get heart attack. I just did laugh in Spanish. So people are saying this is a small gathering. It doesn't really matter. That is what I'm saying. People that appear in rally, I tell you, statistics have shown that if not people they come outside for rally, they come outside convert. Uh-uh. Nigeria no go do like this. 
Now you're going to go there like this. So please, I'm still telling also the icing on the cake, what is going to make the cake beautiful. You may, imagine say you bake cake finish. Eh? You look on decorator. Maybe you never decorate them. Nobody go see. Nobody go see the especially if not people be say they know the way we want to snap and send. They're not gonna see the beauty of the cake. They cannot taste the cake from the from the look. Uh -huh. Now when the cake look beautiful, then you go consider. I hope it's going to taste as delicious as it looks. Do you understand? So Nigerians, I want to also use this opportunity to plead with us to make sure that on election day we do the right thing. Hmm? We do the needful. Many people, as they talk now, they don't plan as that day. And go just collect one five thousand, one four thousand, one three thousand. You know, you know they already plan that they go just give them palliative for coming. You understand for coming to vote. I say make I remind them, so now who their life they chop. The insecurity crisis, if nothing is moving you in this country, if you are saying you are going to survive as we always do survive, please, the insecurity that is going on in the country should make you to have everything. Because I tell you, you see this insecurity, they go tell you it happened for this particular place. Very soon, if we do not treat it, I have been saying it, just like I, I have been saying it for the past how many years now? Just like I have been saying it for the past how many years? Last year... Last upper year, you know, before this election, before 2021, I was saying it. This is security to get to a point where we will have to, you know, people will have to, you know, if you, have, if you want to sleep, you have to start sleeping with your one eyes open wherever you are. And this is almost at that stage. So we need somebody to come in and make sure, you know, come in and somebody who genuinely wants Nigeria to get better will come in and who will not treat these people with key gloves he's going to treat them as they should be treated and before you know it when they get the message that this country is not a playing ground for them they will do what they will disappear they will go back hmm? imagine an ego that is always coming to carry a chick and one day the particular um hen fights back i think i saw a particular commercial it's the is, is it an ego i think it's a hook but it's a big bird that comes to carry a, uh, a chick you know that particular day the mother the hen the mother hen was ready and i tell you that bed no fly back oh now so it's supposed to be every day you know these people keeps treating us as like it is a turn to tell them that enough we have to get things right we have to we have to do this so and i'm also appealing for us that the support we give to presidential and um, what's it called presidential candidate we should also make sure we do not withdraw it we should give it to governorship candidates and all of that. Make sure that whoever, the same energy, whenever you're picking for governorship, the person really merits it. The person is not stimulating you anywhere with one contract or one job or one money or one palliative. Just to make sure we do the right thing. Vote people because if you vote people in who wants Nigeria better, I tell you, you will be asking yourself if if we don't reach heaven. Yes, I'm telling you. You will be less in a paradise because we all have people who really want to make the country better. As in no distant time, we'll be feeling this. I'm not saying this, we're not going to have issue, one issue there and there, but it's, it's not going to be as pronounced as this anymore. All right, and just note we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.